Hello and welcome to IA Link. I'm your host, Simon Kocher, and this year we're back at Sasa 2006. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, this is my co-host, Manish. Hey, I'm Manish. Okay, Manish here is a Sasa virgin. That's right, Simran. It's my first time, so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. be nice. Mm -hmm. Being nice won't be hard at Sasa, where hundreds of students gather to make friends, learn about their culture, and bond over organized fun. Sasa stands for South Asian Students Alliance and is known as the hottest event of the year for South Asian youth across America. But this is way more than just a student conference. It's a cultural phenomenon. With talks by national leaders, fierce dance competitions, and endless parties, SAS has become the prime place for South Asian singles to make love connections, at least for the weekend. The first day of SASA kicks off with some inspiring words by a business leader who teaches the students how to be successful while staying true to their culture. I'm just delighted to see so many of you South Asians thriving in this great democracy, the United States. I was desperate for a summer job, and they told me that to interview for a summer job, you needed a business suit. They hired me, and I spent the entire summer in a sari in that firm. My client was in Indianapolis, Indiana. I was based in Chicago. And I visited the client in a sari. And guess what? I still made it to be president of PepsiCo. It's not so bad. So be yourself. Intra's inspiring message set the tone for the rest of the day with the other speakers. You shouldn't conform. You should stand up for what you believe in. You shouldn't forget where you came from. Your past experiences define your character. And your character is the most important thing. It's time to get silly with some stand-up comedy at the Improv. If we come running down the stairs, we see this huge box. Like, oh, we get all excited, right? We tear the box apart and say lawnmowers. <laughs> We're like, Dad, we're kids. We want toys. We want games. And you want toy? You want a game? Lawnmower toy. Upper down grass? Game. <laughs> We're outside the New York Improv Comedy Club and we're at Sasa 2006 as I told you, but who's with me right now? This is just Beer Singh Man. Yeah, just Beer Singh Man. Okay. Jazz man to all the players out there. What's up? All right, now he... To all the girls, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm in New York. I told you I was going to be in Toronto this weekend. I'm sorry. I'm in New York. <laughs> sorry. And why? Okay, he's so excited to be here. Yeah. But, of course, he's a comedian, and he did a great job downstairs. He did a great job. The girls were laughing. Everyone's like, all wants to be all over him, right? Well, I didn't realize how much it would cost to actually pay each audience member $20 to laugh. Um, you know, just came out of the budget and uh, doing my thing. Like a chicken wing on a G-string. After loosening up with some laughter, it's finally time to unwind with the first party of the weekend, which brings us to a showdown between myself and Simmer. Here we are at Sasa 2006. This is the kick-off party at Club Avalon in New York City. This is all the Manisha. That's right. This is my first party at Sasa and I am so excited. I'm telling you, there are so many hot girls here and I'm going to get mad numbers. Okay, I don't think you're going to get mad numbers. Oh yeah? How much do you want to bet? I don't think you have any game. Please, every girl in this line beg you. That's right. Are you kidding me? How much do you want to bet? All right, this is a challenge. Okay. You're going to try and get numbers tonight. Yes, and so are you, and we're going to count them once at the end. I don't have to try. Oh, really? I bet you'll, I bet you'll. All right, let's go on and find out. Mm -hmm. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> My name is Manish, and I would really love your phone number, both of them. No, it's okay. Really? You have yeah, to no, it's okay. Karen, let me have your phone Um, no. <laughs> Oh, 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 Simran, oh, Simran, you're right, you're right. Burned. I was burned. What's up on the inside of the club right here with these four beautiful girls from Jersey? Where is this your first time at Sasso? Big rivalry? 
Simran scores one, and Manish crashes and burns. Coming up next, Manish learns how to polish his game, and we get a sneak peek at the dance teams as they prep for the big day. Day 2 at Sasa, an important day for Manish, who gets schooled by Saira Mohan on the finer points of wooing the ladies. Hello, this is IA Link, and we're here at Sasa 2006, and I am here with Saira Mohan. Hello. Hello, Manish. How are you? I'm really well. Good. So, Saira, tell me, what brings you to Sasa every year? Well, the team of people and the students, because I love them all. Let me tell you a quick story. Please. Last night, me and my co-host went to a bunch of parties, and we had a competition where we had to go out and like talk to girls and get the most numbers we could get, and sadly, I got rejected by every single girl I talked to. You were rejected? Rejected. Then by about 15 girls. There's no way. I don't believe it. I'm serious. How come? What were you doing? See? That's exactly the response I had. So, to show my um, co-host that I do have some game, get a kiss. Yeah. What were you saying to them? I was saying, you know, hi, my name is Manish. Can I get your phone number? I okay, just well, that's that's not how you do it. Um, I would say you should uh, compliment them on something that's not obvious, like her shoes or like her bag or like something, her hair, something she takes time to put into herself. Can I get your phone number? <laughs> well, maybe, but not on not on film. Okay, fine. <laughs> Cut. After my conversation with Syra, I realized I was just a novice at the dating and mating game. So I went to the pro to get some more tips. And we're here with Dr. BJ Mehta, who's going to talk to us about dating and mating. Well, first of all, we come from the land of Kama Sutra. And the total amount of sex education we have in our family is stay away from the boys or stay away from the girls. Up to 16, he doesn't even know the girl has entered the puberty. Okay, that's a big secret. So he thinks the girl is a little girl. How to realize that Sarukh Khan is not going to come into your life and dump you from the helicopter and pick you up like Bollywood movie does. We have too many problems that is in our college level uh, students. They are going through crisis after crisis and the parents have no clue whatsoever. And I am reaching out to all the young people because most of the other desi uncle and auntie have turned away from them. I am going toward them. Just as Uncle Vijay talked about giving back to the community, Manish and I decided to do our part at Sasa's annual bone marrow drive. Okay, I'm filling out my medical exam here before I have to go right there and you're gonna take blood. I don't, I don't, be strong, be strong. He's a little scared, but we're gonna do it.